Hey, it's Yuri Experience and today we are talking about carbohydrates. And the next video about macronutrients. If you haven't seen my previous videos about macronutrients, I do advise you to watch that videos prior to this one. The link to the playlist is in the description. So carbohydrates. We hear so much about carbohydrates, that they are bad, we shall not eat them, there are special diets that avoid carbohydrates. Is it true? Today I will try to uncover some of the secrets, although I will more talk about the basics and not about diets, strange stories or stuff like that. If you have some strange stories connected to carbohydrates that I will not cover today, write them in the comments below so I will have ideas for different videos. Carbohydrates, as also all other macronutrients, is important part of your nutrition that you need to eat in big quantities so you don't die. Although it's technically not essential, so you can technically survive without carbohydrates, it will be painful and you will die at the end of the day anyway. Also, the secret to rule them all, the secret to solve all of your problems, fiber is also a kind of carbohydrates. Not only carbohydrates are fibers, but mostly carbohydrates are fibers. Still, I will cover fibers in an independent video. It is possible that it will be next video, but not today, because that is too much to cover. If we exclude fibers, there are two main things that carbohydrates help you with in your body. First, carbohydrates are a quick energy source. So if you want energy, eat carbohydrates. Also, if you eat carbohydrates, your body will not use proteins as a source of energy. Don't ask me why our bodies use proteins instead of fats. I think that's because proteins are easier to consume. I'm not sure I can read about that. Still, if you don't eat enough carbohydrates, your bodies will start to use proteins as energy source and it can be really bad for you. Because A, your body needs proteins for your muscles, so then your muscles will slightly burn out like fate and be destroyed and because of the structure of the protein it will not be that good for your kidneys kidneys will get in a bad state it is connected to nitrogen in the proteins it's a different topic again i can cover it in independent video the second reason why you need carbohydrates is because they influence your brain functions how you can memory stuff and also your mood fluctuations you definitely had that situation where you're like oh i'm such a bad mood i feel bad and somebody like okay eat a piece of chocolate you eat that piece of chocolate and like ooh, now i feel way better that happens because of two reasons a quick energy source b because carbohydrates influence the hormones of happiness that are coming to your brain and like whoa i'm happy although you just ate some chocolate generally there are two and a half groups of carbohydrates simple and complex the half group is fibers and we don't discuss fibers in this video basically this differentiation is not that complicated if you have like one or two pieces of sugars in that carbohydrate then it is simple carbohydrate if you have more than two like three and more then you have a complex carbohydrate so basically fruits contain simple carbohydrates rice and potatoes contain complex carbohydrates also called as starchy carbohydrates obviously there are difference how your simple and complex carbohydrates influence your body simple carbohydrates are digested and consumed by our bodies quicker which is why if you consume just simple carbohydrates then we have a energy peak in our body but if we consume complex carbohydrates, they are digested slower and consumed by our body slower, which is why we don't have a one peak, but we have like a curve of energy. This curve or peak of energy can also be defined by blood sugar. And here we hear crazy stories about simple carbohydrates being bad for you and complex carbohydrates being the best that you can eat. This is obviously connected to the fact that Simple carbohydrates influence your blood sugar in this crazy way, in this peak way, which leads to the fact that sometimes your body cannot handle that properly, that's why you have insulin problems, that's why you can get diabetes. It is not about one macronutrient, it's about the package. That's what I told you in proteins, that's what I've told you in fats, that's what I'm telling you right now. Obviously, if you consume just 
simple carbohydrates, you will get a problem. You will get this peak in energy levels, you will get this peak in blood sugar level. And these simple carbohydrates that I'm talking about are refined sugars. So please, it's not the best idea to eat a spoon of sugar that you just use for cooking. That doesn't mean that you cannot eat simple carbohydrates, they are still a great energy source. Also, these products that I mentioned, honey and fruits, contain different other things in them that will help you to digest simple carbohydrates in some way and also that provide you with other positive things, something that you need. Honey also contains important minerals. Fruits also contain fiber, which will help you to digest simple sugars and vitamins, which are also kind of vital for your life. Which is why it's everything about package, it's not about macronutrient. You still need to eat apples, you still need to eat fruits, but they contain simple sugars. That's what life is, that's how life goes. Still, obviously, you should avoid foods with simple refined sugars, baked foods, sweets, uh, some refined foods. If you avoid them or at least eat them together with other foods so the influence of simple carbohydrates isn't that big, you can and shall eat carbohydrates because you need them. Because your brain will be like, I don't want to work anymore, I don't have energy. And you want that your brain has energy, that your brain has an opportunity, possibility, skill to memorize stuff. Now about the amount of carbohydrates that you shall consume during the day. You shall consume between 45 and 65 percent of your daily calorie intake from carbohydrates. How much exactly depends on your dietal needs, uh, depends on what I actually want to eat, but still 45 till 65. Also it is recommended that most of these carbohydrates shall be complex carbohydrates because complex carbohydrates normally have a lot of other things to them that are also positive for your body, still it is not forbidden to eat simple carbohydrates. It is recommended to avoid bad simple carbohydrates, the refined sugars and stuff like that, because they just provide you with calories, they don't bring any other value. Now some sources, sources of simple carbohydrates, sources of complex carbohydrates, again energy, brain activity, that's why you need carbohydrates, that's why you shall eat carbohydrates, or you may suffer, or maybe you can die, please don't. Also, if you want to know, these are normal sources of bad carbohydrates, and yes, you shall kind of avoid them, specifically if you want to lose weight, because they usually have a lot of calories in them that doesn't provide any value except for calories, and that's what you shall try to avoid. Small tip for you, if the product states little to no sugar or little to no fats, you should probably avoid both of them, because if the product doesn't have a lot of fats, it usually has a lot of bad sugars. If the product doesn't have a lot of sugars, it has a lot of saturated fats. And you shall not consume too much of both of the things. You've seen the sources and now you know what to eat from proteins, from fats and from carbohydrates. Basically now know the basics of all the diets and all the nutrition that are out there. Still, these are only the basics, but it can help you hugely to understand why some of the nutrition or some of the diets recommend you to do something or not to do something, and you can also think with them and like, okay, that doesn't make sense to me, I need to research it first. And that's what is this whole video is about. It is about you knowing some of the true information and understanding that some of the information that you are getting is wrong and researching it by yourself or asking an other specialist and and then make a decision, make your own decision and take responsibility about your body. That's all, if you enjoyed the video please drop a like, also you can subscribe to the channel, I do daily videos about different topics and tomorrow I will be talking about the fact that I trust specialists. If you have any questions about nutrition, about carbohydrates or whatever, or maybe some topic suggestions, please write them in the comments below. I will answer your comments and maybe I will do an independent video about that or I will read about the topic first because I do not know everything, but I do know a lot. That's all for today and I'll see you tomorrow.